Hi guys, this is the uh, tutorial on Peyton Doctor's Arteriosis. So let's look at the normal human heart to begin with. So there is a schematic representation of uh, human heart over here. So all the deoxygenated blood from uh, the body comes into the right atria through the superior vena cover over there and the inferior vena cava over here. And then it comes into the right atria. The deoxygenated blood then goes into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve and from there it's pumped into the lung through the pulmonary artery. So you have your main pulmonary artery here and splits into the left pulmonary artery and the right pulmonary artery and it goes into the lungs. In the lungs obviously the blood gets oxygenated it comes back into the left atria through the pulmonary veins. There are four pulmonary veins, I've only drawn two over here into the left atria. From the left atria it goes into the left ventricle through the mitral valve and from the left ventricle the oxygenated blood then gets pumped all over the body through the aorta so that's your aorta so that's your normal circulation when you have uh, a patent ductus arteriosus you have a connection over there this red structure over there is the patent ductus arteriosus ductus arteriosus is a normal structure in fetal life but usually it closes in the first few days of birth if it persists, it's called patent ductus arteriosus. So it's a connection between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. Now you know that the pressure in the aorta is higher than the pressure in the pulmonary artery. That's throughout systole and diastole. For example, the pressure over here would be 25 over 5, and the pressure over here would be uh, your, your, your systemic blood pressure which is 120 over 80. Blood would flow constantly from the aorta into the pulmonary artery throughout the systole and the diastole. Now let's look at uh, what sort of uh, clinical findings you'll get. So when you're listening to patients with the patent ductus arteriosus you'll often hear a murmur. Murmur is an extra noise in addition to the normal S1 and S2. What sort of murmur will you get? You get a continuous murmur. You know the reason for the continuous mama is the flow is continuous from syst throughout systole and diastole, so you would get a continuous mama. The best place to listen for this is below your left clavicle. What other features uh, should you look for? You should look for a hyperdynamic precordium. You get hyperdynamic precordium. If you feel your pulse, you get a bounding pulse. Now, if it's a large PDA in the context of an infant, you can have congestive cardiac failure because this is essentially a left to right condition. So, blood flow from the aorta to the pulmonary artery. So, the lungs flooded with excess blood, which can cause cardiac failure. So, you have tachypnea, so you're breathing really fast. You have intercostal recession subcostal recessions and you also can have hepatomegaly the saturations what do you think the saturations are going to be this is a left to right condition so oxygenated blood is going into the deoxygenated side so the saturations will be normal now Let's talk about treatment now. So if you have uh, a continuous murmur when you listen and if you have a PDA, um, most people will argue that it needs closing. The reason for that being if you have a constant flow from the left to the right, eventually the pressure in the lung would increase and that would cause pulmonary hypertension. For that reason, most people will argue that you need to close uh, a patent ductus arteriosus. But the risk is very small if the patent ductus arteriosus is tiny. How can we treat them? In in an adult and an older child you could uh, do a uh, PDA is usually closed through catheter closure. A coil is deployed uh, with the help of a cardiac catheter into the patent ductus arteriosus which will occlude it. In the context of an infant it's different so if you have uh, a baby, especially a prem baby born early prematurely. If you have a large duct in congestive cardiac failure and if you're ventilator dependent, then you should treat it either medically or surgically. Medical treatment is with indomethacin or ibuprofen. This is given over three days, and the trouble with this is often has lots of side effects. You can have uh, renal failure 
you can have gut perforation and cause necrotizing enterocolitis so these are uh, this can be quite but disastrous uh, for the baby so if the medical treatment fails then you would uh, uh, get a surgical closure done so surgical closure done through lat lateral thoracotomy uh, and uh, the pda would be ligated so it's called a triple ligation so that's a surgical method but we should remember that most preterm babies will have small pdas they don't need treating they only need treating uh, if uh, they are in cardiac failure and small PDAs which are not causing any symptoms in a in the context of a preterm infant should be left alone. Hope that was useful. That brings us to the end of uh, the session on patent ductus arteriosus. Thank you for watching.